Marlowe and Sons. Yes. Thank you were the so you were. I'm sorry, the sous chef at Marlowe and Sons yes. for for a good little while. And and I'm not sure if everybody knows here because I actually worked in kitchens as well. Sous chef does all the fucking work. Okay. They they're the ones that are sweating and are running all around the kitchen going ah. Literally. How did you make it? Thank you. How did first of all how did you get it and then. When did you leave? Well, it was funny because I left the Manhattan restaurant scene having worked for um, Wiley Dufresne at WD-50. Oh my God. Uh, Dan Silverman at The Lever House. Jean George. <laughs> uh, you know, um, so big names. Yeah, you know, and 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 having having worked for these people, I was like, okay, you know, I have a lot of talent, but I'm not willing to get paid nothing, man. I got, I like, I live in New York too, you know. So I was like, wait a minute, y'all can't. I mean, come on, you can't be real with this. Is this like, is this? Are, are we serious? Um, so, um, you know, I, I had a friend that is a, a business owner out in Fort Greene, and they spread my name through an, to another business owner in Fort Greene, and they were looking for a chef. So I came out, I helped them um, expand their restaurant from a 45-seat restaurant to a 90-seat restaurant oh, with God. an outdoor bar, um, three menus. That was a little crazy, I, honestly. I was like totally against it. But you know, when you don't own the place, you gotta like work with it. I so, hear you. Um, uh, that was, you know, that was, uh, I hooked him up, and then I left, and, uh, and then I... Just remember, baby, <laughs> double your shit. What a Peace. <laughs> and uh, then I worked, uh, I, I, I helped consult at another local restaurant in Fort Greene, uh, and uh, I had my, you know, I had my resume out there, and it was on Star Chefs, because I was a participant, one of nine finalists in the Sam Pellegrino Almost Famous Chef competition. Oh, beautiful. Vegas. Beautiful. Give it up for that. Yeah. Woo! Talent right here, y'all. Talent. Y'all come and be eat with the judge. Don't worry, all right? I have one other. What I understand that um, we actually have, we have quite a bit in, in, in common, actually. Um, can, you, can you smile for the people? What are you laughing at? I ain't even done. I ain't said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think they already figured it out. I think they already figured it out too. <laughs> we are just happy. I don't know what it There's is. There's nothing wrong with being happy, y'all. Must be in the water. <laughs> or in the beer bottle. Or the shots we took outside. Moving on. <laughs> also, we have in common that family is very, very important to us. And it's very, it's very important to me because I'm an only child. And shit, I ain't gotten in house, you know what I'm saying? But for you, brothers and sisters? I have, if we want to include, and I always do, include, I, you know, let me let me talk about blood first, like, you know, like, talk real, about blood. real, real blood. Uh, that's really my sister and my brother, man. You know, that's, that, those are my dogs, <laughs> those are my kids, those Family are my dogs. people. Those are, and you know what, listen, you'll meet them and you'll say, oh my God, <laughs> your brother looks just like you. Your sister looks like someone else. Who are these people? And um, I mean, honestly. Are they Josie's? Are they little Josie's? Yay. Um, and you know, my brother was very young. He came to the for like a year, and everyone thought that he was as old as me because he looks exactly like me. <laughs> so he wow. was like my twin brother. But whatever. That's, you know what would be really story. crazy is if his name was Jose and your name was Josie. Because we have somebody in the crowd. Like Danny and Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I understand also, we have this <laughs> We also have something in, something else in common. We both love garlic. <laughs> I love garlic. Man, can, can I hear it for garlic? Put your hands up. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Yes! I love my friends. I will put garlic in my cereal if it says to do so on the box. I, you know, infuse it all with anything, whatever you want to do, whatever. Hey, garlic is, look, it has medicinal purposes in our lives, okay? Speaking, speaking of garlic, I understand that you have an amazing recipe for collards. <laughs> Who told you that? What, what do you, Where did I, you get that one from? Oh, I'm Marcus Ferrar, host of the Marcus Ferrar Show. Uh, I find things out. Uh, <laughs> cameraman turns around in disgust. Um, <laughs> no, I, you know, I know a little bit, but you know, I come from a background of comedy people. 
this. And we know what's up, we know no. what's going on. I want to know how, do you put like a, a gourmet twist on your collards? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Well then okay, that answers my question. Tradition. Tradition. Hey listen, you know, some, some recipes, they have lasted our lifetimes and history for a reason and it's because they are traditional recipes and you know we can we can try to build off of the idea the concept of that that you know that dish but the truth of the matter is is that if we're going to continue to be innovative and we're going to continue to bring something new to this you know culinary world then we got to take those traditional flavors those classic flavors and we have to build on those and we have to, it's like music you wow know? wow <laughs> that's beautiful no seriously because it's i mean it's basically if you don't know where you come from you can't go nowhere in a VW bus. You know what I'm saying? That's very true. We also have in common the fact that, you know, when I was in high school, I played football. And I understand that, girl, I did some research! Stalking. I found out that you are a member of the NYC of the, what is it, NYC Sharks or NY Sharks? We are Does anybody know about the NY Sharks? It's Put your hands together if you know what, what that's about. Tell, 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 break it off, break it off. Okay, let me, let me break it down for you. You know, women don't get paid for professional sports unless you're playing NBA or soccer, finally. And so um, I was, um, you know, I am no longer, okay, I'll be honest, let me, let me clear that up. Couldn't hack it, huh? No, actually, I was in a car accident and I suffered a, um, I herniated dick to my neck, so Never mind. yeah, uh, you know, tackle football, herniated disc. They don't really like, you know, yeah, they don't even go together, you know. <laughs> and it was either a culinary career or a football career, and career football career doesn't pay. So what am I gonna do? You're gonna be on Top <laughs> Chef, baby! Hey! Can you put your hands together for Josie Smith, Malave, Malave? 